Greetings, science enthusiasts. Today, we'll dive into the fascinating world of radioactivity. So, what exactly is radioactivity? It's a natural phenomenon where unstable atomic nuclei lose energy by emitting radiation. This process, known as radioactive decay, can release alpha, beta, or gamma radiation. Each type has its own unique characteristics, but all share the ability to penetrate materials, making them incredibly potent. From powering our homes and treating diseases, to propelling spacecraft and even dating ancient artifacts, radioactivity plays a crucial role in many aspects of our lives. But it's not just about the practical applications. Understanding radioactivity also helps us unravel the mysteries of the universe, from the creation of elements in stellar explosions to the immense energy of supernovae. So, with the basics out of the way, let's delve into some of the most radioactive elements in the universe. First up, we have polonium, a naturally occurring radioactive element. Polonium was discovered by none other than the legendary scientist Marie Curie and her husband Pierre in the late 19th century. Named after her homeland Poland, polonium piqued Curie's interest due to its intense radioactivity. Among all natural elements, polonium is a heavyweight, boasting a high atomic number of 84. This element is known for being incredibly radioactive. Its most common isotope, polonium-210, emits alpha particles that can cause significant damage if ingested or inhaled. But don't fret just yet. While polonium is naturally occurring, it's quite rare and typically found in trace amounts in the Earth's crust. Now, you might be wondering, with all its radioactivity, does polonium have any practical uses? Surprisingly, yes! It's used in anti-static devices, which are handy for preventing dust accumulation in processes such as photographic development. So polonium, despite its danger, has found its way into practical applications. Next, we have nobelium, an element named honoring Alfred Nobel. This element, with the atomic number 102, doesn't naturally occur on our planet. Instead, nobelium is a synthetic element, created in laboratories through the process of nuclear transmutation. And like other synthetic elements, nobelium is highly radioactive. Its radioactivity is so intense that it has a very short half-life some isotopes lasting mere seconds before they decay. This means nobelium is perpetually transforming, always on the move from one state to another. Positioned in the actinide series of the periodic table, nobelium is part of a group of heavy radioactive metals. These elements, including nobelium, are known for their large atomic numbers and their unstable natures, which lead to their high levels of radioactivity. So, while you won't find nobelium in your backyard, its existence and properties provide fascinating insights into the extremes of our universe. Nobelium, a tribute to the man who changed the world with his invention, dynamite. Moving on, we come to Lorentzium, an element named after the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. This synthetic element, with its atomic number of 103, holds a distinct place in the F-block of the periodic table, specifically in the actinide series. Lorentzium was first synthesized by a team of scientists in the year 1961, and its discovery was a significant milestone in the world of chemistry. It's a heavy metal that's highly unstable and radioactive, much like its counterparts in the actinide series. Now, when we talk about Lorentzium's radioactive properties, one key aspect to note is its short half-life. The most stable isotope of Lorentzium, Lorentzium-266, has a half-life of only about 11 hours, this makes it incredibly challenging to study and understand in detail. So, there you have it. Lorentzium, a testament to human ingenuity in creating elements, is a fascinating, elusive, and highly radioactive character in the grand drama of the periodic table. Now let's talk about Oganesson, currently known as the most radioactive element. This substance, named after Russian physicist Yuri Oganessian, is the heaviest element currently on record sitting at the very end of the periodic table. It's a synthetic element, meaning it doesn't occur naturally. Scientists produce it in laboratories by bombarding californium with calcium ions. But what makes Oganesson stand out? It's radioactivity. It's so radioactive that it's virtually impossible to observe directly. With a half-life of just under a millisecond, it decays into other elements almost as soon as it forms. This makes studying Oganesson and elements like it quite the challenge. Despite this, Oganesson and its super-heavy siblings continue to fascinate scientists. It's at the frontier of our understanding of atomic structure and nuclear stability. As we push the boundaries of the periodic table, who knows what we might discover next? Oganesson, the king of radioactivity! 
So this was a quick tour of some of the most radioactive elements in the universe. We delved into the fascinating world of radioactivity, exploring a spectrum of elements, each with its unique properties and significance, starting with polonium, a naturally occurring element known for its intense radioactivity. Polonium's presence on planet Earth, despite its hazardous nature, is a testament to the diverse and often paradoxical nature of elements that make up our universe. Then we moved on to nobelium, an element named in honor of Alfred Nobel, the inventor of dynamite. Nobelium is a synthetic element that offers a fascinating insight into how human ingenuity can create substances that are not naturally found in our environment. Next was lorentium, another artificially created element that holds its own place in the periodic table. Lorentium's radioactive properties are instrumental in understanding the nature of elements at the far end of the periodic table. We also discussed Oganesun, the heavyweight champion of radioactivity. Oganesun, element number 118, is currently known as the most radioactive element. Its discovery and analysis provide invaluable knowledge in the study of super-heavy elements. Technetium, the first artificially produced element, was another key point in our journey. Its radioactivity, along with its unique position as a man-made element, offers an intriguing perspective on how human intervention can shape the world of elements. Promethium, with its practical applications despite its radioactivity, demonstrates how even potentially dangerous elements can have beneficial uses in fields like nuclear batteries or illuminating devices. Francium, one of the rarest elements, was also part of our exploration. Its rarity and radioactive decay are fascinating aspects of this elusive element. We then talked about astatine, the rarest naturally occurring element on Earth. Astatine's radioactivity and rarity make it a compelling subject in the study of elements. Our journey also took us through radon, a radioactive hazard that can cause health issues. Understanding radon's properties is crucial in managing its risks and mitigating its harmful effects. Lastly, we touched upon Rutherfordium, a synthetic element named after the physicist Ernest Rutherford. Rutherfordium's radioactive properties underscore the wide-ranging impact of radioactivity in both natural and synthetic elements. Understanding these radioactive elements and their properties is not just an academic exercise. It helps us comprehend the fundamental building blocks of our universe. It aids us in harnessing the power of these elements for beneficial purposes, like energy production, medical applications, and scientific research while also alerting us to their potential dangers. Radioactivity, while often associated with danger and destruction, is also a key driver of innovation and discovery. It's a testament to the dual nature of scientific phenomena. They can be both a boon and a bane, depending on how they are harnessed. So, the next time you come across the term radioactive, remember this journey we took together today. Remember polonium, nobelium, lorentium, oganesson, technetium, promethium, francium, astatine, radon, and rutherfordium. Remember the fascinating world of radioactivity and the elements that comprise it. Remember to always keep your curiosity alive. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of science.